Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. So about 8 months ago, I uploaded this video of announcing Retro UI publicly. A lot has changed since then. First of all, my hair is now a lot longer than it used to be. And our UI library has now almost 500 stars on GitHub. I'm hoping after this video we'll have uh, more. And we have a lot more components now. We have buttons card, uh, checkbox, dialog, input. I think we have almost all the major components you need to build an application. Uh, more is coming soon. And we recently launched the pro site where you can access a bunch of premium blocks. So here you can see all the categories. See some cards. Here's a profile card. Sorry, a product card. And this one is a profile card, another profile card, course card, another course card. The Syria bigger block. Go to stats. So this one is very suitable for an e-commerce dashboard where you can share your revenues, orders, uh, breakdown, top products. You can see how this designs doesn't look generic and has a very specific design system. And that's because retro UI is based on neo brutalism, which gives it a very bold and retro aesthetics. So you can see some examples from here. So here is an example of I think an expense tracker. I think you get the whole vibe. Now it's not for everyone, but if you like this design system, it can definitely make your app or website stand out. Now let's get back to retro UI and see how you can use this in your project. So go to installation. Here you will see its framework specific guide. Right now we have Next.js but VT is coming soon. Uh, so let's go to Next.js. And here you will see an instruction guide. If you have used Shatsian before, this might look very familiar. So let's just copy this. In terminal. Now the instruction here is given in NPM. But for my use case, I will use NPM. So we'll just change this to P dlx now it will ask you for a new project we'll just go with next yes name this retro ui sample this is going to create a new next yes project all right so looks like it is done and you can see it added a utilities file this file comes with a helper function that is needed to work with uh CN. So if you already have this file then great but if not you can install this by running this command uh, for us we don't need this so let's enter the project retro y example open this up cursor open a new tab Open localhost 3000 and you can see our Next.js homepage. So, so far, so good. Get back to code and get rid of all this. Here, just say hello world. We can see that in the UI. Let's get back to our docs of Retro UI and install our first component, which is a button. Copy this. Paste it here. I will just replace npm with pnpm. The button is installed. Now we can use it. Button. And this button is imported from components retrui slash button. See that from here. You can see we have a black box, but this doesn't match with retro UI, right? And that's because we are missing the theme file. So if you go to the installation guide, scroll down. Here you will see the instruction for adding fonts. Uh, we'll do that later. And here you can see all the default style for Retro UI. For example, the primary color, the muted, primary hover, border, and all that. This is a good starting point, but you can obviously change this as you want. Let's copy this for now. 
go back to our project in our global CSS so here these are the styles provided by HCN we just replace this with our theme save now you can see we have the retro UI button now let's add the font so on retro UI by default we are using these two fonts Archibo black for the heading and space grotesque for the uh, body but for this video we'll use a separate font called Bikali <laughs> I can't even pronounce it but I like this font so this is what we'll use for the heading uh, let's go back and copy this now layout file is this and instead of archivo black we'll use the colic and here we'll just replace this okay so it looks good see the ui you can see a slight difference in the font let's zoom in to see yeah you can see the button looks nicer so this is nice uh now let's try to see something meaningful like how the ui will look in some real world scenario so let's go back to blocks and see if we can recreate something so here you can see a list of articles we can probably recreate this here you can see for this block we will need a button and text we already installed the button so let's just install the text Go to the docs text copy this mdlx okay so it installed the text file we go to the code base you see we now have a text now let's get back to the block so first here we can see the data like the blog list and here we can see the code for the blog but from article end and replace this we don't need the key we need the data right so for the data item post uh, let's import all the icons so calendar is coming from lucid react uh, let's for the text text from text let's import this as well and everything else looks good save this go to ui okay so you can see this looks different because one block taking the whole space so Let's keep some style on the top. Let's give it a grid. Grid. Three. Tap four. Have some padding. XXX. This looks good. Like this. Now it looks a lot better and very similar to what we had over here one last thing is the font we had over here by default it was very thick right but the font we chose here is not as much thick to make this font a little thicker we need to do some slight customization if you see the text code over here you can see all the default style this text has so for example for the text you see here we are using h4 and it is coming from over here and the font is normal for this so we can just make this a uh, semi bold and now you can see the font has a thicker width and that's how easy it is to customize our retrieval blocks let me know if you have any feedback or what you think of this aesthetics if you like it make sure to check out retro ui pro which comes with a bunch of premium components pre-built templates figma ui kit and a lifetime access for just $99.
limited time only and we also offer ppp discounts so if you are from a lower income country make sure to email me at arif at ariflogs.com and you will get an extra 50 percent off and yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys liked it i will see you guys next time Bye bye